Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, love you, brothers and sisters. I don't want to say, Lord I say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you be edified. This is your brother Amawan I Bad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And, um, it's uh, 4.51 a.m. in the morning. The spread is on me to go into this lesson real quick. Um, we're going to be going into uh, spiritual Egypt, which is a.k.a. America. Okay. Um, concerning Isaiah, the 19th chapter and the 14th verse. Okay. Um, where the Lord says, I'm going to read the uh, precept real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. It says, Yahweh hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So when it says Egypt, is talking about America. America known spiritually as Egypt. And this is the state in these in these last days. This is this will be the state uh, uh, of the people. Okay? They're gonna be in a um, a spirit of air, uh degeneracy, foolishness, okay. They're gonna be in a um, uh, a perver a spirit of perverseness. Okay, so um, let me first get a precept. Let's prove to you that America, um, Egypt, at this time, okay, is speaking of America, spiritually known as Egypt. Um, this is a uh, Revelation chapter. Uh, Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall be, shall, it's like it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Okay, this is speaking of uh, uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Speaking of the Israelites being in a dead state, okay, not knowing who they are, not knowing their heritage. Because we lost, uh, we had fallen away, okay? Scripture speaks about uh, Jeremiah 17 and verse uh, 4. It says, uh, which spiritually is called Sodom, okay, and Egypt, all right? You, you know why, why it's called Sodom? Because the things that go on here, all right, in, 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 in spiritual Egypt, which is America, it says, and Egypt, okay, another reason all right, it's called spiritual Egypt it's because this is the place of our captivity. When you go to Exodus, the 20th chapter, the second verse, it tells you Egypt is the house of bondage. But it's not speaking of ancient Egypt. It's speaking of America. It says that spiritually it's called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so one of the names, one of the terms, okay, um, one of the terms is known as is Egypt. It says, where also our Lord was crucified, right? Where they exed out the name of our Lord here, okay? Because in the Hebrew, our, the name of our Lord is Yahweh Shai. They gave you that J word, okay? So just to prove that real quick, let's go back to um, uh, Isaiah chapter 19, okay? And we're going to get it in the NLT, and we're going to get it in the in, 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 in Good News Translation. But this is going back to Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. It's just con con concerning the state of uh, 
uh, spiritual Egypt, which is America, in these times, what it would be like. What the Lord said, Isaiah 19 and verse 14, it says, And the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt, meaning America, to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. See? So this is the this will be the state of the people in this time. Okay? Um now let's get this word. Uh they said the Lord had mingled a perverse spirit. Let's get this word pervert. Let's get this word pervert real quick. Because this is the state of the people in this, in these times. It's the word perverse. All right? It says wicked. So, as you can see, when you look around, you see the things that's happening, okay? Uh, uh, it's, it's just a lot of wickedness going on, man. Okay? It says um, unnatural, okay? Unnatural. We eat unnatural foods, okay? Who who, who have the power to... To, to take the the, 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 the the seeds out of the, uh, out of the fruits and vegetables you're eating uh grapeless slakia like eating seedless grapes and you know everything you eating GMO foods that's 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 unnatural man the, the natural stuff is, is 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 uh the way the Lord made it fruits uh, okay with seed okay they be splicing the gene of these different animals, and that's unnatural, man. It says degenerate, right? You look around, you see <laughs> pure degeneracy in the people, man, okay? The people are languishing, all right? That's what's going on in the society, okay? Because they, the scriptures tell you about in the book of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, the 24th chapter, and the 5th verse, Okay, because there's a, uh, 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 let me get that scripture real quick. Let me get that scripture real quick. I'm going to come back to the uh, definition. The definition of the word, but my spread, let me go. So this is the reason why the people in degeneracy, man. Okay. Uh, Isaiah chapter 24, and verse 5. It says, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Right. This is why the people in degeneracy, man. Okay. Because then they don't want to keep, they don't want to keep the, the 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 laws of the Most High. They they doing their own thing. Okay. Therefore, they 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 they, they erring. Okay. They err. All right. They 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 um. They. In a constant state of uh, 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 foolishness, man, and they extol, all right. They extol um, what's the word? They extol folly to the cloud. You know. So uh, going back to the uh, let me let me just set back this precept. But we're going back to the definition. Okay, let's go back to the definition. And it says, uh, what's the next? The next, the next definition is perverse, contrary. Right, they're contrary. They, 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 they the opposite of, man, that which is right. Okay? They're on the left-hand side. It says, uh, turn away, contrary. Uh, turn away from what is right. Right. Wrong, they're wrong. You know, it says, uh, the last one says, uh, corrupt, you see, 5 a.m., it says corrupt, and, and that's when, when you look around, you know, some, some of the, uh, the definitions for the word perverse, you see, wicked, unnatural, degenerate, all right, contrary, okay, um, Turn away from what is right. You see? Wrong. Malicious. You see? Corrupt. So, this is the state of the world. Um, um, uh, Egypt. Okay? Which is America, man. Okay? In this last day and in this time. 
this is this is <laughs> this is what it's like. It says the Lord had mingled a perverse. Okay, well now we just get all those definitions from perverse. Okay, that's not right. A perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt in America, right? It's known as spiritual Egypt, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his in his vomit. So you can see the degeneracy in the people. You know, men want to be women, women want to be men. Everything is everything is uh, uh, against one another. All right, you have a uh, uh, you have a great divide in the country. All right, the scriptures tell you how a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Okay, you have these transformers. Men want to cut off their rods. Okay, women just women in a masculine state want to be men. It's just pure confusion, man. That's that's <laughs> this place. Just it's pure confusion, man. Okay. Um, let's get it in the NLT. It says Isaiah nineteen and fourteen in the NLT. It says the Lord has sent a spirit of foolishness on them. See, this is how it be in, in these last days. Cause we living in the last days. This is this is this is this is be the state of the people in in in, in Egypt and America. It says, the Lord has sent a spirit of foolishness on them. So all their suggestions are wrong. See? Now, wrong was one of the, uh, the definitions of perverse. It says, it's all, so all their suggestions are wrong. You see? They can't get nothing right right now. It says, they cause Egypt to stagger like a drunk, like a drunk in his, in his, in his vomit. Okay? That's the NLT. We're going to get one more. Let's get uh oh I I had um uh I I'm gonna have to get that back I had uh I had it up here but let me get um let me get the good news translation okay this is the good news translation. It says, um, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14, the good news translation, it says, the Lord has made them, oh, let's kind of pop up this thing, pop it up, man. It says, um, the Lord has made them give confusing advice. See? Confusing. All right? The Lord has made them give confusing advice. And that's another one of the names for Babylon. For America is Babylon, which which goes back to the Hebrew word babal, which means confusion. Okay, but we de we dealing with that word Egypt in Isaiah the nineteen chapter, in the fourth and the fourteen verse. It says the Lord has made them give confusing advice. All right, this is the state of the people right now, just giving confusing advice. Up up is up is down, down is up, right is left, and left is right. You know, the scriptures say Isaiah uh, uh, 5 and 20, okay, war to him that put darkness for light and light for darkness. It's just pure confusion, all right? Um, as a matter of fact, let's, let's get that precept and we can come back to this and close up. Let me get that precept. Isaiah 5 and uh, 20, all right? This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Right? It's just confusion. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. See? The Lord said, Woe unto them, man. Okay? Because that's not good. It's just bringing pure corruption and confusion. You see? So let's go back and we can end here. Um, Isaiah... Uh, chapter 19 and verse 14 in the Good News Living Translation. Good News Translation. It says, uh, The Lord has made them give confusing advice. As a result, Egypt, okay, code word for America, all right, America is known as spiritual Egypt. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8, we, we got it in the opening, okay, 
Egypt does everything wrong. We got that word wrong again from, from one of the definition of perverse, which is in Isaiah 19, chapter 19, verse 14 in, in, the, in the KJV, King James Version, right? The word that's perverse. It says, Egypt does everything wrong and staggers like a drunk, like a drunk, slipping, slipping on its own vomit, right? See, that's the state of the people right now, man. They like they like a drunk slipping on his own vomit. These people just are right cor uh, corrupt in many ways. They're confused. They're giving confusing advice, you know. And, and these things are happening because uh, because of prophecy. The Lord say he, He's going to mingle a perverse spirit, a very perverse spirit in the midst thereof. We got all the definition for the word per perverse, you know, wicked, contrary, corrupt. Okay, malice. Okay, wrong. Okay, turn away from that which is right. So, when you read the scriptures and you get the full understanding, you see why uh, uh, America's in the state that is in, man. All of this confusion, man. Okay, but um, at the end of the day, we got to trust in the Lord. Okay, read these scriptures and, and, and walk in the spirit and apply and apply wisdom, man. Okay, because we live in a world that's 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 tainted okay the food is tainted the air is tainted the water is tainted and that's because these people in they they, they air all right this lord is mingled up a very spirit in the midst thereof and, 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 and they, they they cause them to air all right so they they doing things the wrong way one of the definitions was unnatural eating unnatural uh gmo foods and stuff man okay so um, I'm going to end the lesson there. Lord willing, you were edified, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the Ba'anas of the elders of, and apostles of Great Millstone, the time of this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. With that, on to the next one, Shalom.